Welcome to our weekly EULA, our weekly update, our lesson, and our announcement. I am pretty excited to be coming to you guys today. So um, some of you guys saw that I had a training last night, um, which is all about how do you calculate your profit margins, understanding how um, you can create an actual plan to become um, fee for service and so I wanted to come on and I really want to spend time on this um, it is so important for us in our practices that we know how to know what we're really making in our businesses and uh, this morning alone after I had that that call um, last night and I recorded the training and I actually posted here um, and if you'd like a copy of that retraining, just go ahead and type in, um, I want a copy here below this video. But this morning I did a circle of focus call with a doctor that was producing, their production was over $2 million. Okay, so one of our clients. And this was our first circle of focus call where we were strategizing for the next year and looking at how can we increase revenue my goal on these calls is to figure out how can we increase revenue um, by 40%, by 50%. Many practices were able to help them to double revenue. But yet again, I looked at the revenue and it looked exciting, right? Like, oh, I've got a $2 million practice. But I looked at the collections and the collections percentage and that was around 60%. And when I looked at the collections, it was around $1.3 million so far this year. And I'm like, you know what? And I really want you guys to get this. This is really important. Like if I can teach you this, then I feel like it was worth it, right? Like when I learned this concept, it changed everything in my thinking for my business. It helped me to plan, to strategize, and I just got the numbers for my accountant and yet again, another year, we've doubled our profits in our practice, right? So what I'm talking about is not just theory, it's not something I've read in a book, it is something that I'm implementing in my own business and I want you to not feel like you are working and spinning your wheels and you're busy, but at the end of the day, you are not earning what you deserve to earn. And so I want to talk to you guys about profit margins and I want you to understand how much you're actually making. And it was interesting because for this same doctor, I was like, we need to first, like before we talk about strategies and we did on the call, like what's the strategies to grow by an extra million to actually collect 2 million and not just produce it. We created that, that roadmap for her, but I said, I've got to deal with the elephant in the room first. Right, And so we need to look at your profit margins. And I need you to understand how much you're actually making with that PPO, right? Can we all agree that most people you don't know, right? And you take the insurance because you're like, oh my gosh, if everybody else is taking it. If I'm not taking it, I'm not gonna survive, right? But what she realized after we did this exercise is that when you do the profit margins exercise, and you realize at the end of it, by the time you pay for your rent, your utilities, all of your fixed expenses, these are things that you have to pay whether you see a patient or not. You add them all together, and then you add in the cost of your team for the hour, right? And it's not you, you don't get paid unless anyone else gets paid. And you add that together, and you say, well, how long does it take you to do a filling? Maybe an occlusal takes like 30 minutes, right? So we divide those together our fixed expenses and our team costs, put those together and we divide it by two. And now we add up how much does it actually cost to do our filling, right? And we're talking about cups, we're talking about a needle, not just the composite, we're talking about the plastic that goes in the handle, the plastic that goes behind our chair. We're talking about the burrs, a piece of floss, mouthwash. And when I do this exercise and I give this to home, homework to my clients, cause it is homework, like I need you to do this, People come back and they're like, oh my God, Anissa, I'm like I am making $2 on a filling. It's costing me $110 to do a filling. It's costing me $120 to do a filling and I'm only making $90. Or I'm only making the same amount. Imagine now if you're, how many of you guys are 
getting statements for $10 or less and you're not sending it out a statement or you're giving a discount to your friend or your family right because you feel like it's the right thing to do and I get it like we're people that care about people but if you're only making $10 on a filling because it costs 110 to 120 dollars and you're really getting 120 130 it almost doesn't make sense right like you do better to be a greeter at walmart which i often say like welcome to walmart right so um i really want you guys to get this concept because what she realized through this process is that yes it looks great to say you have a two million dollar practice but if you're not getting anything, you would do better to clear all of those patients out, right? And still make the same collection and be a lot less stressed. And now you have the capacity to go and have training with your team so that you can implement a new service. Maybe it's gonna be sleep where you can charge $8,000. Maybe you can learn how to bill under medical insurance and now it's a no the brainer for patients because they can afford it, right? Now you have time to focus on building that practice that you want or have time for yourself, right? The other thing that's really powerful is that we can start to say, okay, well, let's create that process for becoming fee for service, right? And that process is understanding one, it doesn't make sense. And number two, deciding what you're gonna replace it with right so what high value service or let's get your training get your into your train train on verbal skills so that the things that you're already doing that you love to do and you're really good at all of a sudden patients are saying yes our patients are coming in and we're saying what are your goals about your teeth and your smile and your health okay what else anything else and now they're telling us the truth right that they don't love the smile that they have or food is catching and like why is this important to you why does that bother you getting to their emotions and they're like you know what I hate when I go out to eat and I have to be picking food out like that's embarrassing right or I hate when I smile that I have to cover up my face because honestly I'm not comfortable how many of you have been at a place in your life where you felt like you weren't good enough where you weren't smart enough beautiful enough, fast enough, you weren't picked for that team, right? That's how our patients are feeling. And so if we can learn and get training for us and our teams on how do we get people to the emotion and not just say like, I hear people say, oh, you gotta show people the value. Well, how do we do that, right? That's a question that I, I always, you know, I always heard people say give value and I started to say, okay, well, how do I do that, right? And so I started learning and discovering and hiring coaches to understand psychology and, and sales and how do we get people to that emotion and some of these are things that I'm sharing now or how you can do that right tell me about your goals why is this important to you why now why are you here today talking about this right why today why is this important to you today you shut up and let them tell you right so you start focusing on verbal skills you start focusing on marketing right one of our doctors a few weeks ago Say, you know what, I'm gonna go all in on Invisalign. That's gonna be my circle of focus. We're gonna do double the cases this year. We're like, great, let's kick it off with an Invisalign flash sale. They got into our marketing call on Monday, and all of a sudden, we helped them. We said, this is how you run an Invisalign campaign that actually works. Here's what you're gonna email your patients. This is what you're gonna post around the office. This is the system, this is the process. And they became a platinum Invisalign provider, and they did almost $90,000 in one day, right? And so getting really clear with your circle of focus is very powerful, but before you even look at how are you gonna reverse engineer so that next year is your best year ever, I want you to start thinking about what are you currently doing? Are you really making money in your business, right? Because you can be really good at case acceptance, your marketing can be great, but at the end of the day, if you don't know your profit margins, if you don't know how much you're making from your insurance companies or you don't know how much you're making in general on a filling a basic service not even a crown right then how can you make decisions in your business right so a lot of times again I see practices that are so busy and we look at that and I'm like oh my gosh right 
Um, and so we did create that training. Um, if you'd like to get access to the training as well as the template so that you can calculate your profit margins, type in, I want a copy, um, and we'll get you a copy of the training. So I did a 45 minute training teaching exactly how to go in and understand how to do this for yourself and giving ideas of how you can come off of these PPOs if you choose to, right? Um, and you may not choose to, and that's okay, but you know, how do we schedule now in a way that allows us to see patients in one visit instead of four, so that our supply costs are reduced by a fourth, so we make more money. All right, so I wanted to share that with you. Um, that, is, um, that is really our, our lesson for today, um, but I wanna share a few updates with you as well. Um, by the way, as you're coming on, um, can you say hi to me so I can see who's watching? Because I can't see um, who's here. Like, it doesn't show me your name. So in the comments, can you say hi so I can see who's watching this? If this is helpful for you, if you can type in helpful. Um, but say hi. If you're watching me on the replay, um, type in replay. That would be really wonderful. Um, but I want to share an update with you as well or another lesson. Um, so yesterday I had an opportunity to get to spend some time with um, Amanda Holmes and uh, the other Holmes and her dad Chet Holmes um, wrote a book called The Ultimate Sales Machine and if you haven't had a copy have not read it you definitely want to get a copy it is one of honestly the books that I've, I've studied in terms of how do we build relationships with other businesses, other strategic partners with other businesses in our community. It's all about building a dream 100. Um, and I love that book. Well, her, his daughter, he's passed away. His daughter is now um, running the company. And I actually met, met her a few months ago at a conference. And, um, and she showed up at the conference, and because I'm in another mastermind, um, someone introduced me to her. And so she came yesterday, and I was sharing this story with her. And it was so interesting because she said, Anissa, you did the exact thing that you're telling me that you believe in. Um, and so um, one thing that I was telling her is that I believe in the power of taking action first. And I want to share this lesson with you. Some of you learned it as well in a boot camp. But I believe in the power of taking action first. And so um, about four or five years ago, I was at a marketing conference. Um, actually, people were asking me to teach Facebook. How many of you guys have had my Facebook boot camp? And so I went to ClickFunnels um, because my course was housed in their software. And as I was there in the, in the audience, there were about 4,000 4, people there. I saw patterns. And the patterns were that people that were on stage speaking they were all helping people in so many ways, like saving their marriages, helping people with their finances, helping people with their mindset. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. Like, I love that people are helping people. And they also were all giving to charity and they were all making a huge impact. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I said, I wanna be like one of those people. And so I remember going to that conference and said, I need to find out, you know, how, what's the pattern? And the pattern they were all in Russell Brunson's inner circle. And so I said, I need to learn how to get in there, right? And so I went to find someone and I begged my way in. And actually a month after is when Russell encouraged me. He said, what are people asking you for? And I said, I've been doing these four month boot camps." And he said, um, he says, well, what are they asking you for? I said, well, they want me to help them all year. And he says, well, then that's what you need to do, right? And so like that one idea is what sparked the ability for me to be able to coach and help people. But the second thing that happened was really cool. It's like all a trickle down effect is that they also offer 12 people an opportunity to go to Africa and to be able to donate money and to be able to travel with Russell. And so I did that and I was the first person out of 4,000 people there. They gave 12 spots. I was the first person to sign up. And so I signed up for, um, for Africa and it was actually when I was on the bus with Russell that I talked to him and I shared with him what we were doing with funnels in my dental practice and how after I was teaching a Facebook course, I intentionally, unintentionally started teaching a new strategy with 
creating Facebook ads, and we had 250 re appointment requests come in the next day for my practice. And Russell was like, what? I didn't know you could use funnels for dental practices. I'm like, yeah, I'm using them, it's crazy. And he was like, oh my gosh, right? So the next year I'm teaching at ClickFunnels, speaking on stage to 5,000 people, right? And that opportunity would not have come if I didn't make a decision to take action, right? And be one of their first 12. But then the other thing happened. I met this guy who was also there named Pete Vargas. And Pete was there and he was talking about how he loves to help people to be able to, um, who like to speak, to get on stages. And I was like, oh okay, well, what does that mean, right? And next thing you know, a few years later, he's now working with Grant Cardone and Tony Robbins, and he's who everybody's going to, all of these big people to help them with growing their businesses and their events and raising money for charity. And so um, Pete was on that trip. So three weeks ago, um, Pete was here in town, and he says, I wanna invite you to a private event and you don't have to pay anything. We're gonna be doing a live virtual event, streaming it for, for people, but I want you to come in that event and we're gonna have five people in the room, six people in a room, and one of them's gonna be Grant Cardone and Elena Cardone and a bunch of other really great people. Some of them I'm really, um, really good friends with. And we're gonna have a mastermind. And at the end of the mastermind, all of a sudden Pete says, I want to be able to do something to help Grant. We wanna raise a million dollars for his foundation tonight because this is what they're doing. And we're gonna give one person, eight people an opportunity, sorry, 40 people an opportunity to go to Bahamas and work with Grant um, or hang out with Grant. And I, of course, I was one of them. And so, like, the reason why I'm telling you guys all of this stuff, and Amanda, going back to Amanda, she offered 10 people to be listed in the next version of her Ultimate Sales Machine book if they sign up for her Black Friday. And I was the first person to sign up, right? So I'm sharing all of this, guys, because like, there's so much power that happens when you make a decision to move forward. Like things that you don't even know. Like if it wasn't for me saying yes to go into Kenya, like I would have never met Pete. And now I have an opportunity to go and mastermind with Grant Cardone, which I don't know if you guys know him, but he's amazing with real estate and sales. And so a lot of people look at me and they see me online and are like, how do you know all of these people? And this is how I know them. And so I just wanted to share this with you. Maybe this is speaking to some of you. For some of you, this may not be anything that relates to dentistry, but it does, right? Because I've met all these great people. I'm able to now take what I've learned from them and implement those strategies into my dental practice and our marketing is on and we have great leaders in our practice and i continue to invest in my practice you know this last few months we invested in sleep right and my team is now going through vivo's training they said they wanted to do laser we did laser we're doing laser right and so if there's something that you want to do in your practice right don't be that person who is sitting around trying to comp com contemplate if you should do it, right? The point of me telling you all of this is that, you know, there's no difference between people who have a $3 million practice, a $5 million practice, and a struggling practice, right? There's no difference, they're the same person. But the difference is that the people who are successful are the people who make a decision to take action, right? They learn how to run their business, they have people that help them, and they don't they don't take time, right? And so if you know that you're struggling in your practice, so you know you want to get rid of those PPOs, or if you know that you are not sure what to do, like get in, take the training, learn about profit margins. Like that's where I would start. And then from there, I would highly recommend that you start looking at creating that roadmap for your next year, right? What are you gonna focus on in Q1? What are you gonna focus on in Q2? Um, if you need help, we're here to help you, right? Um, reach out to me, send me a Facebook message. I have people messaging me literally all the time, um, which is great. And we can jump on a call, we can talk about what it looks like for your practice. But again, um, really excited to have all of you guys in this group. Um, there was a time when I didn't feel so comfortable being um, 
being so open and vulnerable about what I'm doing and my business and my businesses, but you know, the only way that I can help is just to be real and be myself. And so I appreciate all of the support and me encouraging me to be real and not apologize for wanting to teach more and help more. Um, I'm so excited about March. Um, over half of our tickets are already gone for the Delivering Well Summit. Um, we, we are really excited. If you haven't gotten your tickets yet, we'd love to see you in Jamaica. Um, that summit changes practices. Having your team come in and to be able to um, allow us to teach them and train them directly, um, it's powerful. So um, that's pretty much it. Make sure that you get access to that training. Um, type in, yes, I want the training. Um, and we'll send it to you. All right, so that's pretty much it. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll chat soon.